Weaver's powerful report. It's up on InfoWars.com. Story time with sex offenders. Millie Weaver reports for InfoWars.com. Tomorrow's news today. Drag Queen Story Hour or Sex Offender Story Hour? Being an ally. Each newly produced infant is given six full years of nightly hypnopedic sleep teach lectures to reinforce class acceptance conditioning, as well as prescribed courses in erotic play. And now we've got something to show you, and we have to warn you, ladies and gentlemen, if you've got young or impressionable children in your household, bring them to the screen right now. <laughs> What we're going to show you is going to leave an impression on them, and we hope the impression will be that they grow up, if they're three or four or five years old, to become seven or eight year old drag queen performers. Isn't it nice? Sugar and spice. Luring disco dollies to a life of vice. I can make a film and make you my star. You'd be natural the way you are. You've got the attraction, you've got the pulling power. this happen and why am I not surprised? It turns out that a registered child sex offender has been reading to children at Houston's public library as part of its drag time story hour. Is this what happens when we allow adult entertainers to entertain our children? 32 year old Tatiana Malanina, whose real name is Albert Garza, was criminally charged for sexually assaulting a child. A concerned activist group called Mass Resistance had been asking the city of Houston for information about the drag queens for months with no answer. The group did their own digging only to discover that a registered sex offender had been allowed to participate in Drag Queen Story Hour at Houston's public library. A media spokesperson for the library confirmed one of the program's drag queens with the alias Tatiana Malanina is 5'11", 200-pound Alberto Garza, a 32-year-old child sex offender. The Houston Public Library has now admitted that a proper background check on Garza was not carried out, but that he will not be invited to participate in any future library programs. In 2017, I went undercover as my SJW alter ego, Rainbow Snatch, to investigate the Austin International Drag Festival. Ooh, I'm all about education. I actually do story time with drag queens in Chicago. Right? Yes, family programming. Love it, yes. I was appalled to find children being mixed into an adult entertainment drag show, both as drag performers and as attendees. Drag queens in provocative attire with names such as Cunty Hornet, Macy Some Cox, Muffy Fish Basket, and Poo Poo Platter danced inappropriately and made adult jokes all in the presence of young children, while men appearing as Johns stared lustfully and threw money at them. So is it any surprise that this registered sex offender, Tatiana Malanina, is also listed as a performer at the 2016 Austin International Drag Festival? Exposing children to drag performers is now considered to be teaching children tolerance and inclusivity amongst progressive liberals, when all that is happening is child exploitation and traumatization, which might just be exposing children to registered sex offenders. It's time to break the trance. It's time to stand up for our most vulnerable. It's time to spread the video you just watched.